8.20 local time, President Mohamed Buhari arrives Ankara en route to the D8 summit in Istanbul Friday in company of the wife of the president. Ministers, diplomatic community and top government officials are waiting to receive him. The host a happy Nigerian ambassador to Turkey Buhari captures the import of the visit. That he is coming at the time that we witness little decrease in trade relations between the two countries. From 1.2 billion that we had in 2013 or so, it has gone down low and the host president here is determined to improve on it and I think it's also in our own good that we improve on it. Earlier in the day, Nigeria's Minister of Defense was at the defense section, an office relocated from the United Arab Emirates for strategic reasons. And after establishing the office, the defense section Ankara made a lot of efforts to improve the military cooperation between Nigeria and Turkey. And uh, right now, I'm happy to inform the Army of Defense that the military training cooperation agreement has been signed between Nigeria and Turkey. As part of the bilateral agreements between Nigeria and Turkey, especially in terms of security, the Minister for Defense was here at the Ministry of Defense in Turkey. The meeting is closed to the media, but not before the minister states the challenges of his country. You are aware Nigeria is currently facing multinational security challenges, especially in terrorism in the northeast part of my country, and many other security challenges, as you rightly said. At the end of the meeting, we got highlights of what transpired. It was very successful, and I believe my partner has acknowledged the need for us to come together. We have common problem in fighting terrorism, and terrorism is something that needs to be uh, addressed globally, not by a single country. We hope to get further details in days to come regarding this military cooperation between these two members of the D8 organization, especially when the summit's communique is adopted in what will be known as the Istanbul Declaration. From Ankara, Turkey, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.